guys, we're a part of NordVPN's affiliate program now. Don't let your internet provider judge you for your browsing history. We're all freaks here, and that's okay. NordVPN helps keep that stuff private. It's also great for getting you past those pesky region blocks to watch your favorite abridged series. Click our affiliate link in the description or pinned comment and use the coupon code FATDOGSTUDIOS to get 70% off a two-year plan and your first month's free. <sighs> okay, 2022 really is 2020 part two. Uh, so I've got more shitty stuff coming your way from the anime community. Yay, or rather the industry. Yay, roll the intro. Okay, so I can't even say what this is. We're just going to say CP. That's the closest thing to it. It's kind of what the internet talks about. But uh, I think that's the term the internet uses for it. But Jesus. All right. So another manga creator has been arrested over CP suspicions. A distributing report has gone live from Japan Today regarding a well-respected creator in the manga industry, Kenya uh, Suzuki, age 40, has been arrested by authorities in Japan over an upsetting charge. Police suspect the manga creator imported CP into Japan, breaking the country's law against importing illicit material through its borders. Uh, so, for those unfamiliar with Suzuki, the artist is best known for creating Please Tell Me, Galko chan or uh, I think in the U.S. it's called My First Girlfriend as a Gal in 2014. The series followed a gyaru girl in Tokyo who dedicated their life to the American Valley Girl fashion. The manga went on to spawn a TV anime a few years back in 2016, and an OVA was also produced by Studio Feel. According to current reports from Japan, Suzuki is suspected of important... Uh, of importing six books from Germany, which all contained underage CP. The books were trackable as the post was registered internationally and police searched Suzuki's residence back in July, where they found the books. Authorities were visiting for an unrelated reason, but after finding the six books, Suzuki was investigated further. Reports suggest 40 more illicit books were found at the residence and Suzuki considered them part of his personal collection. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read the rest of this. There's a link to, to get more information, but Jesus Christ. Okay. So I can't remember his name and I tried to look back, but the text wasn't large enough. The creator of Roroni Kenshin. Then there was the drama with the guy, uh, with the writer for act age. And then this CP, like there's been at least three counts of mangaka, uh, with possession of CP. What the hell is going on? Why? And, and why is this? Why is it that Shonen Jump tried to act like this never happened and brought back the the Kenshin creator? I don't care if he's friends with uh, Oda or not. Like that, that's unacceptable. He should never be able to make work for Shonen Jump again. That's a, a whole different rant I could do, but I'm probably not going to. But what the fuck? This is some, this is some, like, really messed up shit. Uh, if you don't know what CP is, I don't know what to tell you. Underage is the only indication I can give you. If you can't piece it together after that, I feel for you. But yeah, this guy was busted in possession of material he should have never had. Uh, the fact that he was able to get it and order it from another country, import it uh, from another country. Holy crap. Also, Germany, WTF you doing? making this uh so apparently he had a lot more and he didn't bother to come up with an excuse like it's research but yeah uh so the uh yeah he is not the first mangaka creator to be charged with possession of cp as uh roni kenshin's creator very publicly underwent an investigation in 2017 nobuhiro watanabe was charged after admitting his interest in nope not saying that cp uh, 
As the case went on, Rurouni Kenshin was put on Hyatia, but Sh- Shueisha has since resumed publication of the manga in Japan. Oh, why? This is just... It's just something that I thought you should know, mostly because, hey, if you like this series, uh, please tell me Galko chan or I, I believe it's what let me let me confirm here on my anime list to make sure that I'm not getting this wrong. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's my first girlfriend is a uh, is a gal is the English name, but I could be wrong. Uh, so it doesn't have an English name. Oh, no, it says Mortal Titles. Please tell me Galco-chan. Uh, yeah, please tell me Galco-chan. Yeah, that is. that's that is. It's called Please Tell Me Galco-chan. And it was pervy as hell. So not overly surprised. Okay. Uh, just in case you're a fan of the series or you were getting into the series and you wanted to purchase it, wanted to let you know that your money could be going to, to this scumbag. So just be aware. Um, I had the same kind of mental break with uh, Ramoni Kenshin, which is unbelievably good, and also the Magica, and I felt dirty inside because of the fact that I purchased his manga and my money could have been spent on CP, and that's that's not okay. So just a warning out there to all of you, just in case uh, you see this out there, just please please know that uh, that this series may not the the money from this series may not be going to something that you might think it is. So yeah, I'm Richie Roberts. That's been your warning from an asshole. Uh, I write, direct, and voice act sometimes for Fat Dog Studios, and this is a really weird episode of anime reviews. Yeah, bye. <laughs>